Hi, I'm Joe Dante at Trailers from Hell. A lot of filmmakers returned from combat in World War II uh, determined to try to put some of their experiences on the screen, but none ever did it with any more force or vitality than Sam Fuller, uh, who was a member of the Big Red One and who was actually there when the uh, Falkenberg um, concentration camp was liberated. Uh, out of those experiences uh, came this movie, Verboten. Verboten! Let's get one thing out of the way. I love Sam Fuller. First, I loved his movies. I used to choose friends by their reaction to Shot Corridor, actually. But then I loved Sam himself when I met him. I uh, was lucky enough to actually get to work with him on uh, White Dog, cutting a few sequences because my friend John Davison produced it. And I was really floored to find out that he was a fan of The Howling. Sam's reputation as some kind of tabloid Grandma Moses has somewhat obscured his unique place in film history. Now, Verboten is by no means Sam's best picture, but it was close to his heart. In fact, in the early 50s, he formed a company with actor Dane Clark and DP James Wong Howe to produce this picture, but it actually didn't come to pass until years later under very reduced circumstances as one of the swan songs of RKO, which was out of business by the time this was finally released by Columbia. Uh, it's set in occupied post-war Germany. Uh, it's gritty, uh, it's cheap, and it's loaded with newsreel footage, and it's really Sam's version of Germany Year Zero. It covers some of the same ground as the later Judgment at Nuremberg, but Sam was the first to shock mainstream audiences with unforgettable footage of bulldozed bodies and emaciated concentration camp victims. James Best is very good as the post-war GI who falls for a German girl. He's also very good in Shock Quarter and is probably best known for his role in the Dukes of Hazard. This picture didn't really make any money and it didn't really play very many places and, and for a long time it's been hard to see. But where else are you going to hear Paul Anka sing Our Love is Verboten and hear Beethoven's Fifth orchestrated by Machine Gun Fire? Out of the backlash of war's flaming fury. 